How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. We're back here on the Gold Coast. It's a beautiful Thursday here. Uh, if you watched any of the last videos, we had uh, we were in Sydney for the BNT 30 Under 30 Awards. If you haven't checked it out, definitely go look at that. Today's a bit of a different video. It's gonna be quite value based because I know a lot of people that watch these videos are either e-commerce owners that are at a particular level looking to scale their business further. And you might actually be interested in working with an agency. And it's important to understand how to work with an agency, what entails with working with an agency. Uh, there's so much that happens on the back end that you guys obviously don't see and I wanna make it clear uh, as to you know what you should be looking out for and uh, what we do internally as well. Time is probably one of the biggest things that people struggle with, especially when they're trying to build a business. You don't need eight hours a day to put towards your app. When it comes to Facebook advertising, especially when you're trying to level up, you need to be an expert. That knowledge and expertise you can only find within somebody that works within an agency and does it day in, day out for so many other brands. We've got a cool setup here and I'm gonna answer a couple of questions that are gonna be really, really beneficial for you guys to know. So, let's go through the first thing here. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is why brands should even use an agency. The thing that I run into time and time again whenever I'm on a call with a brand owner, they look to outsource the advertising, but it's not because they're incapable of getting the results. It comes down to time. Time is probably one of the biggest things that people struggle with, especially when they're trying to build a business. So as you're kind of reaching those marks of 50K or 30K a month, 50K a month, 100K a month, and you need to outsource your advertising, which might be the cause of a lot of that revenue coming in, that's when you look to start working with an agency because you're gonna get somebody that has hours a day devoted just to, towards your ads, which are the number one thing to bring in and all this revenue. So time's probably the biggest thing. And if you're running into issues with you know, time management, you are juggling too many balls and you're trying to get too much stuff done, then that's when you should start to look out uh, and outsource that work to an agency. Uh, you can go the in-house route, but an agency might be a better, better uh, option for you. And segueing into that point is the cost of an agency versus hiring somebody in-house. If you're looking to hire digital strategists, and I know firsthand how expensive some of these guys are, you have to pay a full salary. And sometimes, you know, you're looking at anywhere between 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 bucks a month, sometimes 8,000 bucks a month in just their salary. Whereas an agency, depending on what you're spending, could be around three to $4,000 a month. There's a big difference there. And yeah, sure, the argument could be that, oh, well, if I hire somebody in-house, then 100% of their time is devoted to, uh, you know, my ads and stuff like that. But at the same time, you don't need eight hours a day put towards your ads. If you are putting eight hours towards your ads, then you're kind of, you know, you're playing around with your ads too much. They don't need that much attention. You're gonna be actually screwing around with the learning and it'll be taking a step back. Whereas if you just have somebody that is purely specialized in developing ad strategies and scaling them, then you're going to be putting, you're gonna be quite cost effective and putting your money towards somebody that is specialized in that field and it's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg either. Another point as well is I think knowledge and expertise. So it's coming back to that original point where look, you can hire somebody that's a jack of all trades. They can do content creation, they can do uh, you know the advertising and they might be able to do like email marketing, all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to Facebook advertising, especially when you're trying to level up, you need to be an expert. If you don't understand strategies, if you don't understand how to scale effectively, shit will hit the fan, your return on ad spend will plummet, and then you'll be kicking yourself because you didn't actually get an expert in to, man to manage that for you. So by having somebody within an agency, because their time day in, day out is devoted to just working with advertising for e-commerce brands, then you're gonna get somebody that has a real well-rounded view on how to you know, scale effectively, uh, you know, how to map out things like your projections, what your brand break even returns are, all that good stuff. It's gonna be really, really important and that knowledge and expertise you can only find within somebody that works within an agency and does it day in, day out for so many other brands. If you're looking to work with an agency, it's really important you look out for this one as well. Work with a specialist's agency. There are agencies out there that run ads for you know lead generation, service-based, uh, e-commerce. And I've talked about this in my other videos to tell people to not do that because they're generalist agencies. They don't actually specialize in anything. So when it comes to 
the hard yards or the nitty gritty of how to scale a fashion label and they have heaps of experience with lead generation for uh, car wash companies, then they don't know anything about your business. They don't have that knowledge, they don't have those expertise and they don't have the systems in place to clearly explain to you, you know, how you're gonna get to this next level. And I know this from experience because whenever a fashion label comes in and asks me, hey man, how am I gonna get from 50K spend to 100K spend and maintain a similar role as, uh, and then what is my projections and my revenue gonna look like? I have those spreadsheets literally mapped out and then we go through it and then that, that way the client and the brand that we're working with is well aware of the trajectory that we're on. Whereas if somebody comes in and says, hey man, I own a gym, and I want to scale this up and I want to get, you know, 500 members uh, in by three months time. I go, great. I have a guy that you can speak to, but I don't know anything about that. So I'm not going to charge you, you know, a thousand dollars a month in retainers just to set up some crappy ad strategy. It's just, it's not where we live. It's not my expertise. So I don't work with those guys. I just work with fashion labels because we know how to do that. Everyone knows there's good and bad agencies out there. What differentiates top tier from other agencies? Yeah, that's, that is also a great question. This is a great question to ask other people that you might, or other agencies that you might want to work with as well, is who's doing the work? Are they outsourcing work? That's a really good question. Because the difference between top tier and a lot of other agencies on the Gold Coast or in Australia is that we put a lot of focus on our team. Like I literally just did a, an hour induction with the two new team members that joined uh, our team this week, the top tier team. And I just hit them with our values, like what we stand for, the types of brands that we work with, you know, how we hold ourselves, like word banks and the, the, the words that we use. It, it's, it's so crucial for me, for these guys and anybody else coming into the agency to understand what we stand for, the types of clients that we work with. What will happen is if you're working with an agency that outsources work and to them, you're just another number and they're just trying to get, you know, your retainer in and all they have to do is set up ads, then, I mean, like, that's fine. And if you're getting an average return or whatever, that's cool. But you can just sit there steadily and not grow. If you're trying to take your growth seriously and you're an e-commerce owner, you can't just set up ads and then leave it at that. You need someone on you day to day. Like, you need somebody literally sitting there and going, hey, man, why isn't your website sitting in a, a, between a two to a three times conversion rate? Hey, man, why isn't your break-even return on ad spend figured out. Hey man, why isn't your content this? Why isn't your content that? You know, here are a couple of recommendations. Like you need that day to day. You need somebody that goes beyond that. If they haven't built a team predicated around delivering you all those things that you need, then you're not gonna get the results that you're after. And because I understand that, that's why we've built our team in a certain way. And like, you'll literally see today, I'm, I'm about to go do that induction now uh, and give these guys a whole presentation. You'll see them literally sit there and they'll be, probably be like, like, oh my God, like, we stand for this, we stand for that, they're taking down notes. Like, it's crucial that they understand it because that way they're gonna be able to deliver the service that we're, we look to deliver, um, especially so we can achieve the results that we look to achieve as well. Hey Mark. Yeah. What lip balm do you use? I don't use lip balm. Hey Mark. Yeah. Can we drink enough water today? Hey Mark. What? What's 9 plus 10? 21. Hey Mark. What do you want? What's brown and sticky? Hey, Mark. So, newbies, welcome to Top 10 Marketing. This is a really, I think, important induction presentation for you guys to be aware of. Our brand values, our target audience, our brand personality, our unique selling proposition, and then our tone of voice as well. We value each and every client we work with and our promise and point of difference is always on the journey and transformation. So what does that really mean? Some of these guys are running half a million dollar a month businesses and have fuck all knowledge about what the digital marketing game is like. Right, so that, that's on us. At Top Tier Marketing, we consider ourselves to be your expert digital marketing partners. We use partnership like a lot. It's our keyword. Rather than a business transaction, we see each and every client we work with as an opportunity to partner with and support, not just with their advertising and marketing strategies, but with their entire business. Culture, you guys probably would have had a bit of a taste of that already. Um, and it might've also been something that attracted you to top tier at the beginning. So what do we mean by that? Culture is what makes us uh, who we are. We're fun, talented, and hardworking experts. That's a massive point. Half the reason why the brands that reach out to us today reach out to us is because of the culture that we have within our agency. 
people can like really feel it. It's pretty strong. Uh, and we want to continue to work on that and make that more strong. So we're doing YouTube. There's going to be a lot of people that you work with that are also experts or know a lot. But when you're working on the top tier, you're an expert in e-commerce advertising, right? Act like it. We know our niche and our value and practice our craft every day. We don't do lead gen. We don't do service-based businesses. We don't do uh, coaching. We work with primarily Shopify brands. A lot of them are in the fashion industry. Why? Because we fucking know what we're doing with them. And we only work with ones that are established too. Okay, cool. So you guys ever heard of like brand personalities? We're getting to the end here, by the way. Um, so there's nine. There's nine personalities per se um, that every business falls under. And these are our two. So the magician first is similar to Disney, TEDx, and Dyson. The magician brands often are very successful serving as catalysts for change, turning problems into opportunities, reframing difficulties, empowering people, teams, and networks, and creating flexible win-win solutions for all involved in a situation. The outcome of a magician brand personality is amazement and wonder. They uncover solutions to create something from nothing or turn a mess into a miracle. That is the magician. We are the magician. The hero, similar to Nike and Apple, they inspire others to believe in themselves as much as the hero believes in them. They inspire, motivate, and cheerlead their customers to do more, be more, and have more. The hero wants to leave a legacy and doesn't mind sacrificing for it. This makes it the hero quick on its feet, making fast and smart decisions to save the world. <laughs> okay, we are the hero. Even though shit goes wrong and I see it in the back end, I already know that these two are on some kinds of solutions because that's the reality of what we do here day to day. It ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It goes bad sometimes, but you can either get anxious and be like, Ugh, and try to avoid it or take ownership and just be like, all right, cool. It ain't going well. Let's talk about how we're going to fix it. And the person on the other end, your client is going to appreciate that. And then they'll trust you. Open, transparent communication. Always tell the truth and show interest in clients and their needs. Our voice is credible, trustworthy, and educational. Oh, I have to go. Mark, 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 Mark. Mark, 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 if you don't do team coffee trips, you are a loser. <laughs> Welcome to the team, guys. It's so close to my face. Oh yeah, this is the initiation. This is coffee initiation. Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, we just got back from lunch and we're doing something real cool. I'm with Christy at the moment and we're kind of like creating this content that's more valuable to the people that follow us on like our socials. Cause we were thinking, all right, we post heaps of cool stuff on like the team and people like us for that, but like, where's the value? So we've actually sat down, we've had like a team meeting. It's me, Christy and uh, Layla, who are basically like the internal top tier growth team. So we want to focus on growing our business. And we just said to ourselves like, yo, what do we have that is like an actual content strategy plan that's going to add value um, and draw in the types of brands that we want to work with. So we've started to, uh, we'll kind of come up with this idea around creating top tier tip of the week. So we're literally going to record uh, a, like maybe like three or four back to back. And I'm just going to be sitting here. They're going to go for 30 seconds. They're going to play for, they're going to play on the reels placement and then we can repurpose it onto other platforms as well. And then that way, like now there's a reason why people follow us. So that's what we're going to shoot right now. And I'm pretty fired up about it. Welcome to top tier tip of the week. Why you fail to scale. It's because you don't feed your agency or your ads enough content. Every two to three weeks, try to get images, videos, native pieces of content into your ads so that you can scale effectively. That's it. If you like this video, like and subscribe. If you want to see more content from us, leave a comment down below because I wanna be predicating all of these videos around what you wanna see. Other than that, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.